In the heart of the South, where Spanish moss drapes over ancient oaks and cobblestone streets echo with history, lies Savannah, Georgia, a city known for its southern charm, stunning architecture, and a haunting reputation that sends chills down the spine. Our macabre journey begins in the late 18th century with the tale of the Sorrel Weed House. This grand mansion, with its stately columns and imposing facade, has a history steeped in tragedy. The story goes that Matilda Sorrel, wife of the wealthy merchant Francis Sorrel, leapt from the second-story balcony in despair upon discovering her husband's affair with a slave girl named Molly. Both women are said to still wander the rooms and corridors, their spectral forms spotted by many a brave visitor. Fast forward to the mid-19th century, and we find ourselves at the infamous Bonaventure Cemetery, a place of beauty by day, but as night falls, an eerie quiet descends. The cemetery is known for the little Gracie Watson statue, a lifelike sculpture of a six-year-old girl who died of pneumonia. Many claim to have heard her laughter echoing through the cemetery or seen tears streaming down the stone face of her statue. Next, we delve into the early 20th century at the imposing 432 Abercorn Street. The house stands vacant and decaying, a stark contrast to its well-kept neighbors. Its dark history includes tales of a cruel father who allegedly tied his daughter to a chair, leaving her to perish in the Georgia heat as punishment. Visitors have reported seeing the ghostly figure of a little girl in the windows, forever trapped in her cruel fate. But perhaps the most chilling of all Savannah's ghost stories comes from the mid-20th century with the tale of the haunted Foley House Inn. This charming bed and breakfast was once the site of a gruesome murder. The innkeeper, Honoria Foley, found an intruder in her home and killed him in self-defense. She concealed his body within the walls of the inn, where it remained until renovations in the 1980s. Guests have reported strange occurrences, from unseen hands tugging at their bed covers to spectral figures appearing in their photographs. In summary, the Sorrel Weed House echoes with the despair of a scorned wife and her rival. The Bonaventure Cemetery rings with the laughter of a long-dead child. 432 Abercorn Street is haunted by the specter of a cruelly punished girl. And the Foley House Inn is home to the restless spirit of a murdered intruder. Each tale is a chilling reminder of Savannah's haunted history, a city where the past refuses to stay buried. One thing is certain, in Savannah, every corner has a story to tell. Every shadow hides a secret, and every gust of wind whispers tales of the long departed.